we're definitely on both the men and the women's side relatively young. So a lot of it was just gaining experience for them, um, just learning how to race in college. A lot of them are used to being kind of these little, you know, big fish in a, in a smaller pond. And now they're learning to race with confidence in a much bigger talent pool. Um, so it's been a little kind of, they had to just adjust to the college workload. Um, so going to classes and everything, but they've been transitioning really well. Everybody's progressing throughout the whole season. So we know our best racing is ahead of us. So we're really excited. That's definitely something personally as a coach, I have to remind myself of pretty frequently um, because you don't necessarily see the progress as quickly as you want to. But you kind of have to take a step back and realize so many of these, I mean, we've got a couple out of staters. So even just them adjusting right off the bat is a little different. Um, but I mean, we kind of have our long-term goals for two years out from now. So it's kind of constantly reminding ourselves of like where we want to be in two years. Uh, we're still taking into consideration like what we want to do this weekend, but looking more towards the future, knowing that our squad on both sides is very young and that we return a lot of people, uh, still having those daily check-ins, but keeping the long-term in mind. Yeah, I mean, looking at, say on the men's side, Carlos has been just one who definitely leads by example. Um, I think his obviously times speak for themselves and the growth that he's had while he's been here at UIC. Um, and it's not a fluke. He, he's gotten there because of his hard work. So he's always the last one at practice, whether it's because he runs more miles or because he's there foam rolling. And I think I've noticed that even the freshmen are, are now starting to stay a little lighter at practice, just doing the little things, foam rolling. Um, so he might not always be the most vocal, same with Alex Bashkawi. He's not the most vocal leader, but sometimes leading by example kind of has its same effect as being a vocal leader. Um, and then the same on the women's side. We're still young, but we've got Natalie and I. And I's had a little harder one because she's in her first year of nursing school, so she's not always around, but she's still there just kind of being positive influence on the, on the women's team. Yeah, a lot of it's been an increase in mileage just since she's been here since his freshman year. Uh, so he came in running about probably 40, 45 miles. Uh, this summer he was getting up to 95, 100 miles a week. So those miles are starting to just like click with him. Um, his workouts have been some of the best workouts that I've seen in my coaching career. And he's just, he's very consistent, which just lends itself to good performances. Uh, he keeps himself healthy. The best way to run fast is to stay healthy for long periods of time to get in good training blocks. And he's, when he first started, he was definitely still like a novice of the sport. And he just has a lot more experience, a lot more confidence. And when you can race confidently, you can do things like breaking school records. Yeah, just even in the recruiting process, she was one who you could talk to and you knew she wanted to be good. Uh, she was going to do what she needed to do to be good. She's very coachable, which is awesome. Um, I'm very big on like eye contact when we're even in a race. So she's one who every time I see her, she's making direct eye contact with me so I can give her cues during the race. Uh, we did a tempo last week and I kind of pulled off with her um, on the bike and just was like, now you stay on me. And she just stayed on me the, the whole way. So she's been a, a joy to coach and she's starting to step up as a leader too. I think as a freshman, sometimes you're a little bit more hesitant. You don't, I don't want to say you don't know your place, but you don't know what kind of a leader you can be. And now she's starting to kind of take the team even as a freshman under her wing. So she's going to have an exciting four to five years here at UIC. Yeah, I think we're going in most people would say probably as an underdog, um, but I think the team kind of embraces that and is like, let's go su surprise some people. Uh, when you go in as the underdog, you kind of have nothing to lose when you don't have that target on your back. So they're really releasing the limits that they might have put on themselves uh, previously in the season. And they're just going to leave it all on the course and see what we can do as a team on both the men and women's side.